ain't done shock one. Um, this is a white church here. I'm not sure if this is it. It says Cole Mellon, which is where they were married in 1803. Total cost 2 million euros. Hello, this is Susan Martin Tackett, and I wanted to give you a recap of what I found at the church in Dunshawglin today in Ireland. And um, basically, it's the Martin family genealogy between Patrick Martin and Margaret Plunkett. They were married October 28, 1803, and then they had um, several children. Um, the first one was Brian, um, baptized January 26, 1805. Mary, January 8, 1807. John, October 28, 1808. Catherine with a C, February 26, 1811. Thomas, April 14, 1812. And James, July 16, 1814. And what's up next is a video of uh, the records that I found at the church. And Father Joe was quite helpful. Take two. Okay, I found the baptism of Brian Martin on January 26, 1805. He's the son of Pat Martin and Margaret Plunkett, and the sponsors were James McCabe and Margaret Stanley. Okay, and then we found Mary here on 8th of, 8th of, 8th of January, yeah. uh, 1807, Pat Martin, Margaret Plunkett, sponsors Christy Holloway, Kathy Neal. <laughs> you can't read it very well, but it's the one on the 28th. Here is Catherine Plunkett with a C, yeah. Pat Martin, and yeah. Margaret Plunkett. That's right. The second Thomas on this page, uh, Pat Martin and Margaret Plunkett. Oh. Here's uh, James on July 16th, Pat Martin, Margaret Plunkett. Here's Brian Martin again. You find him again. Huh? Yeah, I had to do it a second time. Pat Martin, Margaret Plunkett. Um, here we have the marriage certificate. It's uh, October 28, 1803. Patrick Martin married Margaret Plunkett. It's on page 4, Reg 2. This is the newspaper. This is the Meath Heritage Center, and I believe this information is online now. We have two children here of Ellen Byrne and Thomas Martin. Okay, we have two children here of Ellen Byrne, B-Y-R-N-E, and Brian Martin, their sons Thomas and James. Born July 5th, 1836, and May 19th, 1838. And this is the cemetery next door. We're going to go look. Some of these uh, headstones aren't really that old. Like this one, he died 1970, 1960. Kind of interesting how they block all these in. <clears throat> Mark them off. Ooh.